How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. It's been a hot minute. Hasn't it? That Daz Watches in like, what, three weeks? It's outrageous! I have um, been away. I've been traveling the world, as you know. And about a week ago, I went to Colombia. And I went down, I traveled to the, the rainforest. I didn't vlog or anything. I just wanted to take it all in. Yeah, no, me and my girlfriend, we just traveled the Amazon River. It's something um, we've always wanted to do. And it was a trip of a lifetime. I had such a nice break. And you guys have been so patient with content. So I figured I better get a Daz Watches up immediately. With that being said, let's get into today's video. Food! We can all tell I love food because I have the buoyancy of a fridge. I actually have a quite a passion for food, especially when cooking it. I love cooking and I will, pr I promise I will do a cooking video at one point and you guys keep asking. We've done various Daz watches in the past to terrible chefs and food creations. And this next account has been around for some time and I've only just discovered it because of you guys. Today we're going to be reacting to a TikTok channel called Chef Club. They have over 7 million followers. Apparently, their recipes are so triggering and so weird that a lot of people have been complaining. I can't stand it when people play around with food and do dumb shit. It's, it, I just can't deal with it. Either cook it properly or just don't don't go in the kitchen. Don't do it. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what all the fuss is about and let's react to Chef Club. Watch the video! Then I'm just gonna stick. Off the bat! What are you doing? Why is she using a Budweiser? Just get a knife. You want to hollow out bread for whatever reason? Why would you squish it down with a beer? To create some space for some of the delicious things we've been preparing. If I walked into a kitchen and they were using my bread as a beer holder, I'd leave. I have some bacon and we're going is that bacon? That looks fake. Looks like cartoon bacon. Where did you buy that? I'm gonna just tuck these ends up a little bit and roll the bacon on to our bread. We'll just trance that over there. I just, just lie the bottle on the heat as well. Oh, I want heated up shards of glass in my sandwich! Fuck! Get a rolling pin or something if it. Why a beer? Let these... Who the fuck rolled the other two that quick? That was magic. Cook on this side. That bacon's gonna be cooked so unevenly. It, you're gonna have really well done burnt bits, then a sliver of undercooked bit, and then another sliver of cooked bit. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna remove it from the griddle and move on to our next step. We have some sliced peppers and onions. Sliced peppers and onions? <laughs> sliced pepper and onions? <laughs> that was adorable. A little bit of beer over the vegetables as they cook. Why? Budweiser. If you're gonna cook with any beer, why would you cook with Budweiser? On onions and peppers. Fuck, I preferred if you spat in it. Cook that evenly. Gonna add a little bit of pepper. To cover up the taste of the lager. And then I'm gonna move these off to the side a bit. Now we have some flank steak that I'm just going to cut on to. Notice when the meat uh, hits the plate, it's not making any such sound. Because she's moved all the oil and beer off to one side. It's not hot enough. That is not hot enough to cook a steak how it's meant to be cooked. And we're just gonna let these cook together here on the plancha. They cook better on my forehead! Now that we have these cooked to our liking. Bullshit, you put that in the You've put that in a pan, all of that, and then you've put it back. <laughs> it's not hot enough. That fucking solar panel you're cooking that meat on is not hot enough to do that. I'm just going to remove them to these bowls. So we're ready to assemble. Oh god, that meat just looks awful. It looks tough. You know when you bite into that meat, it's going to be like eating a Nike shoe. Assemble our fondue steak sandwiches. Going to add our sautéed onions and peppers. Just Fondue? Where, 
Where are you putting the cheese then? There ain't gonna be enough room for the cheese. Where's the cheese gonna go? At least put it as a middle layer. Put those inside. Then our cheese is nice and bubbly. I'm not gonna lie, that, that looks banging, that does. Look at that, that is a wheel of cheese. So I'm gonna add some of our meat. It did look good, it looked really good. Fuck, and so you just dumped your meat on the top. You scrape it off. That's what you do. You just dribble your meat on it. Vegetable stuff sandwich. And we're just gonna scrape all of this melty cheese goodness on top of our vegetables. And then we'll transfer this. Look at that, look at that! This doesn't look appetizing at all! Over to our plate. It looks like open heart surgery. That's what that looks like. When you're an organ donor, right, what really happens is Chef Club TikTok you. Add a little bit of parsley. So in, inside that, you've got a little bit of cheese, right? Just dribbled over the top, which is just gonna fucking fall off. What she should have done is put a bit of cheese in the bottom and then put the vegetables in and then put a bit of cheese in the, like, this whole thing is wrong. Enjoy. Enjoy what? A corpse's foot. That's what that looks like. <laughs> That's your outro. I'm gonna need open heart surgery if you do that again. Make me jump. All right, what's next? Some of my pancake batter. This is a great buttermilk pancake batter that I make. It's lumpy and thick, like really thick. Why are you pouring it into a, into a Nesquik? You just put it in a bowl. Why a Nesquik jug? Now I have a little mixer. We're gonna use that to mix. Wait, is there? No, there's not Nes. She's not mixing pancake batter with Nesquik milkshake mix. It tastes like run over candy floss. Oh, can you imagine? Ugh, imagine how sweet that tastes. Oh, shit. Yeah, look, you can see the pink tint to it. That must taste awful. Cake batter. I'm gonna place our lid back on. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> It's a life hack now. <laughs> I'm gonna come over to our pan. That's not buttered at all. That better be a really good non-stick pan, otherwise that thing's not coming up. And we're going to pour that into our pan. This. Fuck, it looks like what comes out of a spot. Okay, we're just gonna put our mix into the pan. That doesn't it? Shit! Now we're gonna take our Nesquik lid and we're just gonna- Why? Why are you doing that? It looks bad enough! Looks like sunburnt skin off someone's back! What's she doing with it? Press that quickly into our pancake. I'm gonna pick that up. And we're gonna press it. And this, and I'm gonna come back with a Is she trying to make a heart? Is that meant to be a heart shape? Fuck me, if my heart was that shape, I'd go to the doctor. A little skewer, we're just gonna trace the outside of our heart. This, we're just gonna get. Perfect. Perfect. If I served that, Right, I assume this was a Valentine. Yeah, it says on the tags, it's a Valentine's Day meal, right? If I served that to my girlfriend, I would expect her to divorce me on the spot. You, you, don't, you don't deserve anyone's love if you cook that shit on Valentine's Day. I'd rather serve someone pond water. Just go to a local pond, scoop it up. Here you go. Here's a pint of parasites. Thank you. Scoop out the inside. Now I'm gonna come back with- Doesn't look like a heart! It looks like a dinosaur just trod there! Fuck me! What is wrong with these people? Take this shape. And while this is cooking, we're gonna come over to our second pan. What? Well, you're not making another one, are you? One's enough. And we're gonna make a large pancake. And we're gonna turn the pan a little bit. So fucking lumpy. Jesus Christ. That's gonna be the most chewiest pancake I've ever seen. And like this. 
into the cho white chocolate. We're going to dip it into our peanut butter and grape jelly goo. Why? 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 Uber. Let me get that good in there. Mmm, look at that peanut butter. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I want on my pancakes. I want two white chocolate bars that look like my uncle has put them in his ass and then put into my pancake. That's what I want from a pancake. Peanut butter and jelly. We're gonna come place this in the middle of our pancake. And I'm just gonna cover it with a little bit of batter. Yeah, see, that hidden now. You wouldn't tell anything was there. It doesn't look like a car accident at all. This is just gonna prevent it from burning when we flip it. I'm just going to. Wait, that looked like, oh, that literally looked like human skin. Fuck me. It looked like special effects makeup. Oh, God. Imagine being served a fleshy pancake. Mind you, the heart kind of looks all right. Make sure our pancake isn't stuck in the pan. Now we're gonna go for the flip. Yep, look at that, all burnt. There, look at that. Just fucking burnt. And when she slammed it down, the sound it made. You may as well eat, oh my God. And flip this one as well. Just a little bit. Get that cooked on one side. You didn't even cook it the other side. You put it in the pan for a second. You showed it the pan and then put it on a plate. Unless you skipped it. It did not look like you cooked the other side. And that is not a pancake. That's just a cake at this point. And we're going to slide that into our plate. That better. That better not be ketchup. If it is, I'm leaving Earth tomorrow. We're going to do our decor. This strawberry puree, okay. I was, I was about to go off. Decoration. God. That makes me want to be single. I'm sorry, that's not romantic at all. How not to make pancakes. There you go. There you go. All right, what, what's the next one? I'm gonna add to the center of our Pyrex dish. Is that cheese? What is with these videos lately and people using a farm's worth of cheese? Do people want to die young? Is that what they want to do? Look at how much cheese is in that bowl. I'm going to pour some macaroni noodles on the perimeter. This is meant to be macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is just so si It works best when it's just cooked simply. Let's dust those off. We have four cups of milk. Who is she making this for? The royal family? How much do you want? Some diced onion. Yeah, some nice raw onion that you're gonna boil with that milky ch Fuck me. Oh God, I can taste it already. I can taste the disappointment. Shit. Parmesan cheese. You, just in case you weren't, didn't have enough cheese, sprink, sprinkle some more on there. Yep. Need about two ounces. Why not more? What? Fuck it. Why not ten? Why not ten? Some shredded mozzarella. Yep. There you, there you go. Yep. More cheese. We need it. It's not cheesy enough. This is that we're gonna just nestle in to the sides here to create. No. I don't know. Create a space while we're baking this. So I have some seasoned ground beef. Seasoned? What did you season it with? Hope? Wait, wait, that doesn't look seasoned at all. I'm gonna add these sl slices of cheddar over the top, yep. like so. Yep, more cheese, and you know, why not wrap it in the worst cheese there is, just plastic cheese. Then we have some marinated flank steak. Marinated with? You know, the, the, I, I'm aware that this is meant to be a tutorial as well. They're not telling you anything what they're using. Not what the marinade is, what she's washing it in. And that doesn't look like good steak. You need to let this marinade for at least 30 minutes. Now, we're going to take our... We're going to take my dad's belt and wrap it around this meat. Oh, God. Looks like cow's tongue. As some um, kitchen twine. And we'll just do a couple of knots. It looks like someone's gallbladder. God, how are you going to cook that? 
Please put it in the oven, at least. And then we've got some melted butter that I'm going to add to our hot plancha. Jesus Christ. All that raw meat in the middle. She's going to cook that through on that piece of shit. You're not making a toasty! It's got meat in it! And add our meatball right there to get it nice and seared. That looks like the apple that Adam and Eve tried to fuck with. All right? That looks awful. Now that we have these nicely seared on all sides. It's fucking raw! Look! Look, it's pink! Pink! Oh, God! Oh, fuck! It's, it's just... You, you can actually murder someone with this. Macaroni and cheese for about 45 minutes. To you need a week. You need a week to melt that cheese. How is that dish? I'm sorry. How is that dish going to contain all that when that's melted? And that's you tell me that's not going to bubble over into your oven. You're fucking mad. They, they have. I tell you, the end dish of this um, dish is not that. It, they've swapped it and done it properly. That um, there's no way. Patties. Place it right here on top of our macaroni. Yeah, that that in there, right? And that li that is not the dish. They've scraped a fuckload away. So we'll add some fresh parsley for some color. Yeah, to cover up the food poisoning. Jesus Christ! Look at it. It looks like chlamydia. Look at it. Oh my God. Then I'm. Oh no, that didn't look. If you served that to someone and said that's macaroni and cheese, I wouldn't believe you. I wouldn't believe you. I think I think I got one more in me. Flatten, turn, twist them just a little bit. Get your spatula and unstick that. Why are you flattening it with a glass? Of course it's gonna stick. Just use your spatula. For, is, is, is what mince meat or something? Just squish it down. Flat pat it. Like what? What are you doing? Now, what we're gonna do right after this is Looks like someone run over Squidworth. What's he making? Grab a little onion ring. Maple syrup, of course. What's he doing? What? Maybe to some people that's normal. I don't know. I don't know. Like, you can glaze meat with like syrups and maple syrup, but as a filling, I, no, no, no. We don't need a lot, we just need the flavor. Close them up beautifully. It's replacing these in. That's it, put the bottom of the tray on top of them so whatever's on the work surface is now on the food. Really nice. Simple, easy, inexpensive, family or friends. So what we're gonna do real quick is grab some eggs and we're gonna drop one yolk in each of these jalapenos for those of you that like the spice in your life. Some bacon, nice and crispy. And some cheese cheddar. Oh, fuck's sake. Why are you using that type of cheese? I don't mind that type of cheese on a burger. It always, it goes down well. We're actually starting to look at kind of nice and now he's just slapping that horrible cheese on top of it. Don't worry about the egg that's coming out of the onion. Looks like someone's contact lens. It's got to look appealing, you know? You can't always look like shit. Do what you can. Get some water. This is just going to help us melt our cheese. All right, guys, now that we are nice and ready for these, we know that they are cooked. We're going to carefully remove this. Come back with this. Oh, great. Look at that. Essence of puke. Love that. Oh, fuck. It's such a simple way of making something like this. Where it's not just infused and soggy and damp and awful. Eggs are not too cooked. Perfect. Let's try and grab these babies up. No, they're not cooked. They're half boiled, half fried. You, I don't even know what this is. Place these here real quick and we move on to the next step. And grab them carefully. Place this one on top. And maple syrup, little parsley, and a nice little slice of cherry tomato. Boom. Looks like a tit. That just looks like a tit. So hideous. I can't. All right. 
Last one. And we're gonna let that melt together. How much butter have you put in there? Fuck me, I hope you're not making this for yourself. We're gonna stir our butter around. We really wanna infuse it with that cinnamon flavor from the red. Why don't you like cut it up so it melts quicker and you don't burn the fucking pan? Like, these people that just dump a whole dollop of butter and cheese and that thing's gotta melt, it takes time. So you'll, you'll have a lot of butter that's just burnt and a lot that's just melted. Like, cut it into sections um, like you're cooking uh, potatoes. If you're gonna do mash, cut it into smaller bits so it all cooks evenly. I, I don't know, man. It, it's just cooking 101. Red hot candies. And we're starting to get that red color in our butter. Put that back here. We're gonna take our butter. Okay, and here's a little tip if you want to make a heart shape and you don't have... What is it with them and heart shapes? Horrible heart shapes. Cupcake paper into a heart-shaped cookie cutter. And now we're going to put... Is she making a candle? This is a candle you can eat. Who the fuck wants to eat a candle? Candle wick. You can use a kitchen string. I'm just wrapping it around a toothpick. It's going to hold it into place. We'll just place that in. All right. Our little butter candles are solid. And we're going to just pull them out. I have some cinnamon roll dough here. And I'm going to put some softened butter on there. Oh, I love cinnamon rolls. Ah. Oh. I think they're one of my favorite like things to bake. We're just gonna cover our butter with that. A sugar. See what I mean? She didn't even tell you what type of sugar it was, what you should use. If you don't know what you're doing, um, you, you don't you don't know what you're doing. She's like, just cover it with that. Oh great. I'll go to the supermarket when I make my own. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Do you have any um of that? What? That's what the lady said. It's called that. I tell them what it is! open and what do we have it's our little heart we're gonna that looks you know like when um in autopsies or in a museum they have like a pair of dead lungs right and they want to show you like the effects of how bad smoking is for you that's what that looks like that looks like a pair of dead lungs our cinnamon roll heart is out of the oven and it the smells amazing it doesn't look like a cinnamon roll at all. It just looks like bread. This is just a delicious cream cheese frosting. And now for some sprinkles. It'll just make it look like a six-year-old threw up on it. God's sake. We're gonna place those on our cinnamon roll. Now let's light. Look at that! Look at how shit that looks! You're gonna get dumped. Uh, if you make anything like this for your partner, their reaction will be like this. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> what's that? <laughs> They'll leave you! And quite rightfully so! Cinnamon butter candles. And those red hot chili candies and butter is gonna melt into your cinnamon roll covered in cheese cream icing. Fuck. What does that even taste like? If I was to go to hell and lick Satan's bum, I think that's what it might taste like. <laughs> Guys, um, requested by you, that was Chef Club. I don't know where the chef is in this club. I think he's, I think he's, um, on sabbatical. He, he's gone. But nonetheless, I think we've learned a few things today, and that is, if you can't cook, learn. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, uh, I've released my uh, next ghost hunt. It features some of the most incredible evidence to date that I've captured. If you haven't watched that yet, link in the description below. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Like, love, quest my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. Ha!